So today we're visiting Mexico and there's an interesting product I saw limited edition. Here we go, this is the first time I've ever tried this 8-bit Coca-Cola and I'm going to go through the flavour, identify the flavour, give it a quick review for you. To be honest, I've seen this around for a while but I always thought it was a special edition can. But underneath 8-bit it does say limited edition flavour. Now Coca-Cola say that this is a kind of homage to the gamers to the 1970s so let's see what Coca-Cola thinks a pixel tastes like. Okay, so we've just opened it. it has an interesting sweet smell. Coca-Cola, cherry. I'd probably say cherries. Well, it's an interesting, like, fun flavour, fun sweet flavour. A bit kind of bubble gummy, a bit. It's like a few flavours going on in there. It's like Coca-Cola, you can obviously taste the Coke. There's a nice kind of strong Coke sugar-free flavour. I would say there's like a fun kind of chewing gum flavour. Uh, like tutti frutti chewing gum. Very difficult to put your finger on, but an interesting flavour. Okay, we just got home, been thinking about flavour, trying it more on the walk back home, and a few more comments on the flavour. Also, I forgot to tell you that it's also the same colour as Coca Cola, there's no, no change in the liquid colour. The um, flavour, I've nailed it now, is. Uh, let me think, Parma Violet. And in England, we have a company called Swizzles who manufacture little sweets called Parma Violets. After the flower. And Monster also released an ultraviolet, which is a sugar-free variety of Monster, which tends to have that kind of flavor, uh, a grape flavor also to it. Um, so if you don't know what they taste like, it's a bit like a floral, uh, blue, dark grape flavour. Anyone watching in the United States might not be familiar with that flavour, but I'm sure you're probably familiar with like a, a blue grape, a red grape kind of flavour, um, something in that area, but it's a bit more floral. So that's what you should expect. Another thing is that it is carbonated, but lightly. It's very easy to drink. It's very um, accessible in that way. It's not very hardcore flavours, not very alternative. It's very mainstream in the flavour profile. The level of sweetness, I'd probably give it a, a 7 out of 10. It's not extremely sweet. It's not as sweet as some people I've seen online say. It is sweet, but it's not terribly sweet. There's a good balance between flavour and sweetness. I would give it probably a, a six or seven out of ten. It's definitely something some people could appreciate a lot. Uh, the flavours again probably seven, eight out of ten. It's definitely got strong flavours but not kicking it out of the park that, that some people will find it too much, too intense. I'm sure some people will be a favourite drink of theirs and they'll want more but at the moment it is a limited edition and as you can see in my previous photos this actually expires pretty soon so I'm not sure how many batches they're producing. Obviously they're going to roll it out all around the world. I'm here in Mexico, it's uh, live here in Mexico and it's in Argentina in a bigger can format and I believe it's going to be released in the United States maybe in Europe soon so have a look out for it and try it for yourself if you can but it's definitely a refreshing interesting fun flavour uh, yeah I'd give it about um, 7 out of 10 but some people might give it a bit more if it's, if it's up their alley you know if the ingredients and nutrition are of interest pause the video now to have a look 